We're losing our deck. Even weather related around here. And yeah, it's very pretty. The snowflakes are huge. Uh, and uh, they're still obviously coming down. We had a quick little four, five, six inches of snow yesterday, depending on your overall location. And then we got the freezing drizzle and the freezing mist, and then it restarted overnight, and then we get all of this. And in this particular spot, we've got eh, about five inches or so, give or take. But, uh, you must not be measuring in the same spot I would be measuring in, because that's a cheer. There are certainly uh, different totals area-wide. Like you mentioned, not the typical January show. It's, it's snow. It's heavy. It's wet. It's just, it's got a lot of weight to it. We've already seen uh, 43 inches so far this season here in the Twin Cities. Holy now, crap. though, topping 10 inches officially at MSP Airport for this particular storm. That means we're in seventh place for one of the snowiest, uh, for one of the largest uh, snowstorms, two-day snowstorms here in the Twin Cities for the month of January. And we're likely to add to that. In fact, we could top a foot, which would actually pass 2018, which would make this the largest January snowstorm since 1982. So it is an impressive amount of snow, but I want to remind you that, uh, that, that it's at least very pretty. Sure is pretty out. You guys that live in Florida that miss all this, I don't know how you do it. Couldn't do it. Couldn't do it if I were you. So the crews have been out since noon yesterday and it's nine this morning. So we got Jay going on 18, 20 hours or so. We've been starting to do a little bit of sleeping in trucks, a little bit of shifts. We still got three to five more inches of snow coming today on top of the 10 to 12 that have fallen. So we're gonna have 15 snow inches plus or minus by the time this system is done. And We've got a layer of rain in there too. So that's what's really weighing the snow down. As soon as it, last night it rained for a bit there. I think I did a clip on it. As soon as that rain came in, that snow went from fun to something else.
So this is the Kubota R530. It's an, our newest little motor and we've done a couple things special with this machine to make it more useful in snow. Those tires have been custom siped and grooved are on our own and each tire is filled with 200 pounds of beet juice. Like the vegetable beet, that kind of juice is in those tires and that adds weight right where we need it. How are you holding up? Yep. You haven't slept since yesterday. Do you need yeah. to go home and get some sleep? Uh, well, I'll help Alex put that mount on first. Did he get the mount? He's going to get it. He just left. Okay. Okay. Get some sleep. Can you come back tonight? Yeah. Okay. I'll help him get that put on, clean up, uh, and then I'll head out. Is that, whose plow truck's in our plow site? Uh, I, it's my ride. Oh, okay. I thought maybe we had an extra hand out here or something. No, no it's fine. You good on fuel? Yeah, half, a little over half. Everybody, how's everybody else doing out here, do you know? Good. Yeah? I think Josh is probably ready. <laughs> yeah. I think he was ready to go last night at 1 o'clock. I think so too. <laughs> Let alone at what, 9 o'clock? Yeah, I know. We'll go see how he's holding up. <laughs> All right, Jay. All right, cool. Have a good one, buddy. So, as we go through our lots, they don't look perfect. The cars can get in and out. You can see that we've got enough cleared really to allow access. These guys haven't stopped. Oh, Jason's here. Going on. Let's see if we're okay. Yep. Rut row, Raggy. I'm glad you got some rest. I told you you're going to need it today. Well, I was still up for it. I still had responsibilities. So, you're in for the long haul, right? Yep. All I gotta leave at two to pick the wife up, take her home, and I'm coming right back. How are you doing, Jake? Doing all right. Yeah, you seem perky. What'd you do? Did you take some speed while I was gone or I something? I wish. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, nothing. You good for a bit longer, or you yeah. tell me, I don't want you compromising no, yourself. I can, I can go for a while, because I don't, I, Ariel works tonight, and Ace has got COVID. Okay. So I don't have a sitter for him, and if she's got to go in, I guess she asked for the first four hours off earlier, but that's not a guarantee. Okay. Well, we got Jason tonight, so he'll stay. Jay's going to come back. I'll okay. see if Josh can come back tonight. Yeah. Zach will be back. I'll be back. Alex will be back. Tim will be be here. Did Alex actually go home yet? Or no, is he still sleeping he, in the he, vehicle? He slept in the, his truck for an hour or yes. two, is my understanding. Yeah, that's what I heard. That one goes flat. You gotta keep an eye on that oh, son of a dog. Oh, I didn't know that. Yes, you did. I filled you up myself, remember? We've topped you off in the past when you. Oh, a couple of years, or last year. Well, it's the same tire. No, I didn't know I did. <laughs> <laughs> Zach lives an hour and a half away, so when we get three, four day storms like this, he'll be working here for four or five days straight. So. We just, I got a spare room and whoever in my company needs some rest or sleep, that's where they go. So he'll live with me for the next four or five days until we get through this system and then he goes home to his five kids. Wonder how Tim is doing. Good morning, sunshine. You haven't, you haven't slept yet, have you? No, it's pretty bad out here. Do you want to go to my house and sleep, or what I'm do you want to do? Go, I'll go pull in a loading dock and take a little nap. Okay, and Alex can sleep at my house. He took too. a little rest. He had a little one. Yeah, um, I know he got a little one, but you guys got to. But he's going to pick up a mounting bracket for uh, a western. Going down to Aspen. Guess how much? Eight hundred. Seven, seven something. Yep. Good guess. Just for the mounting bracket. Yep, and then Jay's gonna help him put it on. And oh, where, you already know everything. Where are they gonna put it on at? Warm heated garage. Nice. Ah. So I went and did the loading dock over at uh, Big Ink. Yeah. I did an open up. So she called me this morning. I'm like, well, how much is in the loading dock? I'm like, I already went through last night. Yep. 
I had the same conversation with an account. Ten inches. Yep. Ten inches in the loading dock right now. Since last night. Since this morning. You gotta take that? No. Okay. Not right now. I got a free coffee down there. Oh, you did? From yeah. who? Starbucks people are tougher than caribou people. Tougher? Hey, they show it. They're all at work this morning. Oh, nobody from Caribou's in? I didn't see anybody over there yet. Oh. But then they're like, they were thankful I got them a place to park, and then they hooked me up with some coffee, man. Awesome. Yeah, it was super nice of them. Frick yeah. All right, I find Zach and go back to work. Alex's uh, front plow broke. Just for the mount. Mount only. Don't no, don't tell me. No receiver shoes. Nothing. Just the mount. You can see in the box right here what we got. Okay. New bolts. New bolts and some metal brackets. This little tiny box of, of metal, I'm gonna say it was 800 bucks. Damn, you're close. 768. 768. <laughs> Last night I was up plowing South View Greens. It's at my oldest account, 32, 33 years old. I, been plowing it out and there was a car stuck in the parking lot and that's where I'm going now is to go pl plow out a few greens again um, so the guy there's a young kid working on it and an old guy working on it and so I start plowing all the way around the car and I get it all cleaned up and I'm working on it and the old guy is just walking right behind my truck I'll be backing up and he'll walk right behind me and I'm like Roll my window down. Hey, excuse me. Hey, could you guys just not walk behind me as I'm backing up? I'm having a real hard time seeing because white out conditions and it's this mess. And the guy goes to me, well, if you get the hell out of the way. And I'm like, oh, well, you don't want me to help you get out then, sir? And he's got a, a, a baby scoop with salt that he's putting under the tires. And I just kept, I did plow him all the way out. That's my idiot of the day story. He gets the idiot of the day award. Oh, this street looks nice. So we do all of that. We have quadrupled, no, we doubled. We doubled our snow accounts and we normally don't. We do this one and we do eight more schools up in North St. Paul. So we do a ton of schools. We actually, <laughs> when we come in, the schools stay open. <laughs> But if we don't come in, they close the schools down. So they wait to hear. <laughs> I'm just thinking, oh my God, if I was one of them kids growing up, I'd be going, oh, please don't let the snowplow guys come in tonight. <laughs>
I plowed this account for 32 years now. Okay. Almost as long as I <laughs> oh my god we this is supposed to be the um the seventh largest two-day snowfall we've had in minnesota history yeah okay yeah okay. yeah i'm gonna open everything up and then whenever you get a notice put out yeah well because it says until 6 6 a.m tomorrow so I, I know don't, i don't know when i'll have you it's probably saturday yeah all right well i'm gonna keep going all right. good to see you again Next up, we're going to go meet up with Alex and Jay, who are in the middle of a repair project during this storm system. Now, Alex has been working for 36 hours straight, then he had a one hour break, and then he's putting another 18 hours in. But before he's going home, he wants to get his truck back in operation. And the mount on his western plow broke, so he went and bought a brand new one, and that's what him and Jay are focusing on right now. Hey, Stan. Hey. So what happened now? I was actually just could had poor visibility, so it was just loose bolts. You know, they probably came loose over time. Did the guy actually put the right amount of bolts in? Yep, he did. He, he did. did. But we're gonna put more in. He had three bolts in per side, yeah. and we are we have the ability to put five in there. So since we're running a bigger plow on there, mm -hmm. we're just gonna put five bolts on there and just lock that sucker down and we never have the issue again. And the thing is, is I know Tim was like, oh, do we really wanna spend $700 on a new mount? Well, you can see on this over here that the weld was busted and this hole was ripped through. So we would have re-welded that. That still would have been an issue. And then this other yeah, side over man. here, where is that piece at? Get lost here, there it is. You can see this part was actually starting to rip too. So yeah, we would have done all that welding on the right side and this left side still could have it would been, have a just been a failure. Exactly. You so. got a new plow, get a new mount, you're done. And that's the thing, if anyone's gonna update their plow from a Western to that plow, I would recommend getting a new mount just because there might be structural damage that you can't look at and see because it's kind of blocked by the bumper. That's why we have it off. Yeah, you know? yeah. That takes a lot of visibility from seeing the structural integrity of these mounts, you know? How old was that? Wow. I would have to say, when did you get it put on that truck? Six, this is a, six years, I think. Yeah, so this is a, this is a six, 15, so. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, that's about right. Somewhere six, seven in that. Yep. Right yeah. Around there. So, so, so actually, the plow itself is held up pretty good. Yeah. You gonna put your bumper back on? No, I'm thinking we'll just leave that off. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't make a difference, actually. Well, you got a big freaking orange bumper in front of you that's 14 foot wide. <laughs> right, yeah. I'm excited to get that back on there because uh, we really need that on there to make tonight go a lot smoother. So. Oh, yes, we do. All right, I'm going to hop in the sledge and keep going. Okay. So good. I'll see you guys.
Blaine is being a smart ass. All right, go ahead, Blaine. Go ahead, tell him. Well, I just want to update on that snow plow challenge that we had, was it yesterday morning? Yep. Whenever it was? Yep, whenever. And everyone gave me a hard time for being slow and not pushing enough <laughs> snow. And, and Alex has got this big fancy front plow and what happened to it? It broke. It's <laughs> so his is losing money. <laughs> On the other side of that truck, and mine is still working. Still uh -huh. making money. There you go. There you go, you so guys. Bigger and better is not always so, bigger, newer, and better. And there's, not there's, the best. there's Blaine making his point. <laughs> <laughs> Slow and steady makes That's more right. money. That's right. Makes more money. <laughs> All right. Let's go run the loader for a bit. All right, you guys. On this video, I'm going to do something a little different. I'm just going to run a loader and I'm going to let you guys go along for the ride. We got 15 inches of snow here. And we got some kind of whiteout-ish conditions, tough to see. So can't really, we don't really know where the curbs are out at these complexes.
All right, you guys. Well, that's going to do it for today's uh, ride along. A little different. I didn't do any talking, which you tell me. Do you want me to talk or not talk? I thought this could be cool background music. Let your kids listen and watch and kind of do their thing or whoever likes to, you know, see a piece of equipment run. Uh, you know, and just kind of get into it without listening to somebody blah, 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 blah. so that's it for this one god bless go get him you guys and you tell me talk no talk you want another one of these i can do that we got plenty of snow i can do it god bless go get him you guys